Hey guys, it's me, it's Monica. I am so, so sorry. I know, I, I know many of you have reached out to me. I've had emails, I've had messages. I'm so, so sorry for disappearing on you. I, I don't know, you know, it's, it's, I've been trying really hard to sort of find myself. And I know that sounds super corny, but it, it's so true. I think, I think I'm just going to be in my soul, I guess. I, I think that when you go through, uh, trauma, you know, uh, death and, and stuff like that, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to come back to being you, you know, when your whole dynamic, your whole life has really changed. So... <sighs> Jay and I left home on December 26th, and uh, we we went on uh, we went on a road trip, and it was really kind of cool because, you know, it's nice to be able to leave home and not have to worry about your home because we had someone staying there and taking care of it and all that, so we never had to really worry. But it's um, it was it was an adjustment. We're living in 340 square feet since December 26th, and a lot of togetherness and at the same time I thought gosh I was gonna film I was gonna do this I was gonna do that I did none of it I did none of it Jay and I have really we've worked on our health we've worked on trying to find our equilibrium especially me because after losing my mother my father my brother uh, everything looked different in my world and I felt different yet everything around outside was status quo, you know, people were living their lives and, and, and all of that. And death is so final, isn't it? And I don't want to be doom and gloom because I, because I needed this time, I think, a way to really try to focus and try to heal emotionally. So we left home, left home on December 26th and we, we, you know, we had one overnight, um, we had two overnights and then we, we were in Georgia for a few days, and in Georgia, I started to to walk more because the weather was nice, and I walked all around the campground. First, I started with like half a mile, and I kind of worked myself up to going to like maybe a mile. So by the time we got to St. Augustine, I was walking sometimes every day, sometimes even twice a day, but you know, maybe about a mile, maybe about a mile and a half, and slow slow walking right just trying to just trying to move and uh, and just focusing in on that so I know in my previous video I think because I was with Marlene and I shared visiting her and uh, we've we've gone all over I have so many different video clips and so many different pictures that I want to put together I mean we've gone all over I spent some time with Marlene that was awesome we went on a cruise, our very, very first cruise ever, and that was super awesome. My sister's a travel agent. She took really good care of us, so I'm going to be doing sort of a review on the cruise and, and all of that. We went and visited the Villages, which is in central Florida, um, which was fun to visit. We have friends that stayed there. They invited us over for a couple of nights. And then we went over to the West Coast. We went and visited, uh, checked out a bunch of different areas that we might be interested in. And then we spent some time with mother-in-law in, -law in uh, Venice and then back to St. Augustine. And then more traveling. We met the most amazing people while we were away, people that we're continuing to stay in contact with. And I, I'll tell you, there's... You know, especially in an RV community, even you might be a stranger, but you're not because you have shared interests, right? You're RVing, you're doing this and that. So we've met some really awesome people, and we are currently, uh, we'll be heading home shortly, but currently we're still in, um, we're in Myrtle Beach, and right on the ocean. It's been beautiful. I've been walking every day. We've been swimming. The pool they have an indoor pool that's been heated, so that pool has been really awesome for Jay to swim around in, and and especially with his hip replacement, it's just it's just been it's been wonderful, and I I miss home, I miss my kids, I miss so many different things, I miss all of you, I miss doing videos, I miss having a little place to film in. Right now, I'm sitting in my RV on the couch, my shade down, not a beautiful background. 
but I, I'm hoping that um, I have enough Wi-Fi later to get this uploaded. But I just wanted to pop in and say I'm okay. I think I found myself again. Um, I'm going to film after this. I'm going to film in a little empties, or just a little tiny bit of empties, and uh, talk about some of the things that I've been doing. You know, like I've been really focusing in on my skincare while I've been away. I didn't want to because I knew it was going to be in the elements, so out in you know in the wind and the sun and all that. I didn't want to neglect my skincare, and I've had some major surprises with that. So I'm going to get into a lot of that you know, in another, in another video, but I have so much to share with you guys. And I don't know if any of you are going to be really interested in the traveling and the different things we've done and, you know, campground reviews and stuff like that. But I do have so many different things I want to share with you. But most importantly, I want to share that we're okay. We're actually doing quite well. And I am finding myself again and and finding myself I think I think was harder than I thought it would be you know because I found myself being sort of like a shell going through the motions of everyday life we've been we've actually been working while we've been away this hasn't been an extended vacation I, I have been working every day every uh, almost every day and I've been teaching classes tomorrow I have a class that if the weather doesn't cooperate I don't know what I'm gonna do because I've got 199 people sign up for a class tomorrow so I've been working Jay's been working you know we have um, we've been able to do that remotely which has been really really awesome but I, I do miss my family, you know, and Easter was really hard. We were, you know, away from Easter, not so much that we were away from the family, but Easter itself was, because last year on Easter Sunday is when my mom died. She died on Easter Sunday, and even though the date is not the same, because mom passed away April 9th, because, you know, Easter comes, falls on a different day every year. Um, but Easter was hard, you know, because I kept thinking of my mom in the hospital when I last saw her and how, uh, you know, I never thought that was going to be the end in, in that sense. So, yeah, and I'm just finding my equilibrium. I just, um, yeah, it's just been one of those wacky things. So I am bound and determined. I am going to be doing some videos. I'm going to talk about some of my skin care. I'm going to share some of my um, reviews. And I don't know if you guys are going to be interested necessarily in the cruise and all that stuff. But if I put it on my real estate channel, I'll, I'll link it here. But if not, you know, just kind of give it a little look anyways and a little like because YouTube does like that. I mean, YouTube probably figured I'm gone forever because I haven't been around. But I have received your emails and seen your messages and and um, and thank you. So I, I know this is a video about nothing, but I just wanted to pop in and tell you that I'm, I'm okay. Um, I'm back, I hope. I'm actually going to be visiting with Sheila. I'm really looking forward to seeing Sheila and I'm hoping I can get her on camera. But I'm going to be visiting with Sheila and um, and chatting with her, you know, Life with Lily, Sheila, or simply Sheila, I should say, was her channel name. And um, I can't wait to see her and her husband, David. I saw Marlene, as you guys know, Marlene, we stayed at her place too, and Marlene's doing fabulous. I mean, she's been doing awesome with her Weight Watchers um, diet that she's been on. I have lost weight since I've been away, but it, it's, it's, it's really been, it's the exercise, right? It's watching what I put in my mouth and it's staying active and moving around. Like I said, Jay and I have been going for a lot of walks. We go swimming as often as possible in the indoor pool. And the swimming has been super good for him because it's low impact and, and, um, it's really helped him a lot. So I'm going to superimpose a couple of, of most recent pictures. Uh, I took my bike out on the beach, rode my bike along the beach. I, I just thought it was awesome, awesome to do that. And every day I have been out on the beach, except for today, it's pouring out. I've been out on the beach every day and I have gotten myself up to walking four miles on the beach. That's back, you know, 
back and forth uh, round trip. So four miles and um, working on getting my heart rate up while I'm walking. So that's that's been super good. And then at night, if we do, we go to the pool. That's more, you know, exercise. But gosh, I'm gonna miss the beach walking when we go home. I'm gonna miss the heated pool. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to maybe look into a Y membership or, or um, something like that where, where you can have access to a pool. I think that'll be, that'll be really good. But I'm, I'm doing great, you know. Um, the hard thing is I, I couldn't, I, I had my hair cut, but underneath this wig, my, my hair is pretty well uh, gray, <laughs> and I'm not going to go gray. It's just that when you're in a strange place and you want to go and get your hair done or something like that, and they're talking about coloring this and that, I'm like, oh, I don't know. You know, I don't know. Um, so I just decided, no, I, I have wigs and toppers, but quite frankly, I haven't even worn them. This is really the first time I've had a wig on my head. I've been wearing my ball caps, just, you know casual casual and I've been I've been smiling a lot more than I've smiled in a long time you know I really have been I feel good I I feel like very positive and I know there's a lot of turmoil in the world and I know and I know you know there's probably going to be way more turmoil because of all these things that are going to be happening but I'm just feeling really super positive and happy in my skin I guess so again thank you all so much for sending me the messages leaving the comments coming back and checking out my channel I so appreciate you all you'll be surprised when you see a video finally of me and then if you watch this she's going she's not talking about anything but you know what I'm going to be talking about stuff so come back thank you thank you thank you so much bye guys